Okay, what I'm doing here next is I'm taking the railing uh, posts and I'm just making a 45 degree uh, chamfer on it just for cosmetics basically but that's the bottom of the post and then I'm going to measure down from the top 36 inches down and that should be uh, where the level of the deck is and then what's left over will over overlap and be attached to the uh, sides so stay tuned Okay, I've got uh, an assembly line here. Got a total of nine four by fours that I need to notch, and then I'll install them onto the platform. But uh, I'm gonna just approach this <clears throat> in a assembly line fashion. So stay tuned. <laughs> Uh, I've got nine almost done uh, you know I'm not very good at doing notches I kind of have to do multiple tools to get it to where I feel like it's you know quality enough so what I did first was as you saw I used the circular saw to do the first cut used the hand saw to do the notch cut and then I'm going to finish off with the hand saw because, you know, using the, um, the circular saw,
Kerf as the guide because I just don't, I'm, I'm not real confident about my ability to get, to match up the kerfs if I was to use the circular saw totally. So anyway, it'll work. Bear with me, have patience. Stay tuned. <laughs> give up to heck with the uh, with the hand saw <laughs> here's the Milwaukee uh, sawzall so this is gonna make it a lot faster I think here we go I think I like that. I think I'm going to try with a circular saw going forward. It's so much easier and more accurate. I got to clean this up pretty well. This is going to work well. It's it's flat all the way across, so I think we're good. I think I'll just have to use that circular saw. Just I need to be just very careful. Try the circular saw going forward.
Yeah, I think I did it. Wow, that's a lot better. There is some overlap here that I'll have to clean up, but that's that's just that will just have to do. All right, I got four more left to do out of nine, and this, you know, I just didn't uh, I didn't have confidence in my circular saw skills, but hey, uh, it's I'm making it work. It looks like it's gonna work, so thank goodness. Stay tuned. Okay, these are the last three. It looks like my notching skills have been upgraded. Stay tuned. Okay, at this point, I need to use the jigsaw to, I marked basically the the post is going to go in here, but it's got to be, I've got a notch in here to be even with the flat against the fascia, so that's basically where it's going to go. And I've got to do that all around, so I'll just show this first example. Okay, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to put this one in and then call it a day, I think. It's calling for rain all day today. Okay, here we are, uh, got all the posts up for the railings, and now I just need to do the cross braces, uh, top, bottom, and then I'll put the railings on top. On the, on the very front, it's going to be a little different, so i got to finish that off pretty much first before I put uh, anything on there, and I have to put on the uh, balusters on that front, I think because they may be interfering with, uh, well, you'll see <laughs> once, I'm, once I'm done, so stay tuned. 
Okay, here's what it looks like on Monday afternoon, evening. Sun's going down. And got the rails mostly. Got uh, the long sides to do. I did a 45 degree angle on the corners. And you know this is this is how it's looking so far. So it's coming along slowly but surely. The challenge is just having the time to do this. So I suspect maybe about another two days. So I have off all this week. I'm sorry, I go back to work on Thursday, so I'll be there at work on Thursday, Friday. But I think I can finish it, and then I can post the final video on this. Signing off for today.
Okay, uh, the next part, I've got all the uh, balusters up. The next part is to put in this support uh, 2x4 for the uh, shelf. And right now it's just up there by friction. But I'm going to go ahead and side these, this right here, uh, cut some blocking uh, 16 inch on center all the way down just to give it some sturdy. And then I'll put another 2x4 on the outside. That's why I wanted to put those balusters up first because it would be very difficult to nail <laughs> if I had a 2x4 in the way. So I'll put another 2x4 on the outside of that post right there all the way down. That's going to be 12 feet. So it'll extend a foot past the deck and that'll allow for more storage, you know, for maybe drinks or range bag or whatever to get out of the way. So stay tuned. shooting shelf is up it's not perfect as you can see there's a little bit of a gap there but you know it'll serve its purpose nice shelf lay out the guns and the ammo so I still need to do the rest of the railings and the balusters as you can see So I think next I'll start on the uh, railings and balusters, get those done. Well, um, <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. And I'm still not done, but just have a little bit more to go. As you can see, I have the top rails that are six by sixes. And then I need to finish out the balusters um, on the stairs and on this back row. But we're almost there. And I'll be able to post this once we're absolutely done. And I'll be able to show, you know, how it works. How you can line up. Have, I could have probably four people shooting at the same time. There's enough there's enough room now I want to put a bench right here a sitting bench and I have a good set of plans I found online that I'll I'll build that in a little bit so yeah again happy new year January 1st 2020 this marks a milestone on my channel I've been 
posting videos for four years and uh, I'll have a special little New Year's channel update after I get this project done. So, as I always say, stay tuned. Okay, friends, we're done. And the sun is going down. Uh, don't have time to shoot, I've got other chores to do. Uh, this Sunday evening and just want to show you we are done done so this is ready for usage got railings got balusters got a nice solid 6x6 six six on top it's not moving corners Nice shelf. Yep. So I'm going to put together a uh, steel target stand now, right after this. I film this, and then I'll put a video together to show you how I built that. But that's going to be exciting. We're not only going to have paper targets, but we're going to have some steel targets. And then I'll have a separate video on actually using this. Thanks so much everyone for standing by and, and watching this series. This has been a real uh, pleasure and it's been much needed here to have a better, safer firing platform and firing position for our pistol practice. Okay, so this does it for this video. Thank you again. Signing off.